What is going on everybody? Welcome to part nine of our machine learning tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to be continuing working on linear regression here. And what we're going to be doing is we've got the slope. Now we need to calculate the y-intercept. And just as a reminder, the reason why we're doing this is this is the calculation for the slope of the best fit line. And now we need to do the calculation for the y-intercept of the best fit line line. And as a reminder, the calculation of the y-intercept for the best fit line is b, which is the y-intercept, equals the mean of the y's minus m times the mean of the x. So actually, this equation is probably, is in theory, the most complex equation because it includes the calculation of m. But once you have m, this one's actually pretty darn easy. So this will be pretty quick. So um, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is no longer is this function only best fit slope. It's best fit slope and intercept. Great. So m equals the following. And then we need to also return b. So then m, b, and then m, b. Great. OK, now we actually need to have b somewhere in this function. Well, that's pretty simple because it's just b equals the mean of the y's, right? So let's go back to the function. Mean of the y's minus m times the mean of the x's. So mean of the y's minus m and times the mean of the x's. So, um, so that's our b, and now we can return m and b. So we can go ahead and print that. Oh, we didn't change the name of the function. What a noob. OK, so uh, there we go. We've got uh, our best fit slope and the best fit y-intercept. So now, what if we wanted to actually create a line that fits the data um, that we've got here? Well, it's really simple because we have um, the calculation, right? We've got M and B. So now we just need to make like a list of Y's. So for example, we could say regression underscore line equals. And in this case, it would be, remember Y equals M X plus B. So this would be, we could make a one line for loop pretty much here. So we could do M times X what a mess up. Okay. M, M times X plus B. So that's MX plus B for um, X in X's. Okay. So we would just use the same X's here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And basically we're just saying MX plus B for each X in X. So this is just a one line for loop that will create this regression line for us. Um, this is exactly identical as doing like 4x in x's regression line dot append um, this. Okay, just for the record. Anyway, that's our regression line. Okay, so we've already got matplotlib.pyplot. Let's go ahead and from matplotlib import style because now that we've made something cool, we want to use style. Um, five. 38. Okay, we've got a regression line. Now we're going to do plt.scatter x's, y's, and then plt.plot x's regression line. And then finally, we're going to do plt.show. Boom! Regression line. Okay, and that looks pretty good to me. It probably, hopefully, looks pretty good to you. Um, so I'll close that. And um, what if, what if, so we've got this data here. Let me pull it back up, actually. We've got our data. And what if now, remember, you're like, you might be thinking, well, great, you've created a regression line. What does that mean to me? But the, the whole point is that you can now, at this point, you, first of all, you've created a model for the, for the data, right? Y equals MX plus B, where M is equal to um, 0.42 and B is 4. Uh, that is the model of our data. And so using that model, we can find out other information. We could make a prediction if we wanted. So for example, we could say, 
Um, let's say predict underscore x equals 8. So we want to predict y where x equals 8. Well, that's pretty easy. Predict y equals, um, it would just be m times uh, predict x, so mx plus b, right? Simple enough. And then we could even, um, I'm trying to think if I want to scatter it. I guess, yeah, I mean, because that's a prediction. So PLC has scatter. Um, and then we'll just, I'm just going to copy this. Copy and paste and change that. And then now if we were to um, bring this up, this is our prediction. And in fact, we could uh, scatter. And then we're going to make, we'll do uh, color equals G for green. Okay, so that's where our prediction is, and you can see it, like, yeah, it would go all the way to that little little spot there. Okay, so, um, so now we're at the point where we were able to, we had some data, we fit a model to that data, and we even learned how to make a prediction based on that data. Are we done? Well, um, we've got what we need to make predictions, but there's an, another integral part of all of this, and that is, remember before, um, where we said, okay, we don't want just a good line, we want the best line. By the same token, not only do we want the best fit line, we want that best fit line to be a good fit line, right? You want it to be a good fit. Um, in this case, it's a good fit, but we can find the best fit line to a very poor fit of data. And the question is, how good is this best fit line? And maybe more, more uh, accurately put, how accurate is the best fit line? Um, so we can actually calculate how good of a fit this best fit line is. And when you do that, you've got a model and the model might have a, a prediction, right? And the prediction might have a certain accuracy to it, but it also might have a certain confidence to it as well. And linear regression, accuracy, and confidence are very similar until you start getting into many, many, many dimensions. Um, but then when we get into something like k-nearest neighbors, you can definitely have a, a very big difference between accuracy and confidence. But anyways, uh, the next step that we need to do is figure out how good of a fit is the best fit line. And that's what we're going to be talking about in the next tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, till next time.